Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, just going to um, look at level 4 missions doing the Tango. So this is what they call a strategic cruiser. And it is as hard as nails, or it can be. Um, you've got to fit it right. So I won't go too much into the fitting details, but needless to say, uh, the cost of the ship is 1.6 billion. Uh, I use it a lot of um, high-end modules uh, and function modules, and it's at the end of the day, it's a mission boat, and it's earned me. I can't begin to tell you how much it's how much it's earned me over the over the past couple of years, at least. Uh, not just in Empire, but in Nullsec. This is what the one I used to do my ratting with. This is one I used to rat with in Nullsec, um, Badlands, and I used to kill officers with this as well. So yeah, it's a great, great mission ship and a great ratter. There is slightly different ratting setup, but I have quite a lot of setups for this. So this is the one uh, I'm going to use for this tow. Uh, I've just jumped ahead and I have already accepted a mission which is called Gone Berserk. Uh, it's in local, it's in local. Uh, so, but what I'd like to do as well is just check Gone Berserk mission on what we call the mission, um, on the mission, uh, mission list, let me show you, mission reports. So Gone Berserk, this is a very good, um, I've always used this just to double check what resists I need what damage they deal out so there's gone berserk it's a level a level four and this is a this is your damage types this is what to resist and this is what they will deal there's kinetic and thermal which is run of the mill stuff uh, i think she's already i think she's already kitted out for kinetic and thermal but uh, let's have a look Oh, she's got an EM on there, so we need to we need to change that. Okay, let's change it to uh, we've got one thermal, one kinetic, and I'll change that to another kinetic. Where is it? Oh, yep, there we go. So. That gives her, if you simulate that, everything's on, as if it's running. You've got a resistance of 91 on your kinetic and 83 on your thermal. Uh, and that's that's fine. Because we've got this shield booster here, um, 489 hit points per three seconds. It co I usually just leave it permanently boosting, so it's a perma-boosted chip um, when, I'm in, when I'm in the missions. Anyway, so let's come out of that. And let's undock and let's get that mission done. Been a while since I've done that so I tend to just you can blitz missions, you know, you can do them in no time, but I like to kill everything. If they've got bounties on them you're getting money for it so it's no big deal. Uh, so let's uh, let's warp to the mission. But like I say, I don't I don't mind doing that. Just killing everything. If you have a look, and there's a brief there, and she just take care of the terrorist fanatics and then report back. So realistically, you want to just kill everything. And I think, I'm not too sure, but I think they might have tanks, and I do like the tanks. They sell well. You really should. Um, you really should salvage everything. I won't be doing this. Normally I'll have Fuzzy TV in his... Uh, in his... Uh, 
and his salvage ship. So we need to get a bit closer to these. So let's go around. And we're using afterburner. The maximum speed is 681 when it's on. And you can see the damage coming in. Very, very minimal. It's hardly registering on here. But it can get quite hairy on some of the bigger missions. I'm just going to get into range because on range, that's my range of 44 kilometers. So it's got close and personal. But as long as you keep your transversal, keep moving, um, it should be okay. There we go. I'll take the cruisers out first. It doesn't really matter how much. As you can see, they die pretty quickly. But I'm going to turn my uh, booster on now. Because you'll have more spawning soon. I'm just going to orbit this wreck here. And let's start killing him for real. So there's some more, some more have turned up. So I'll just keep killing. Killing the cruisers. It's been a while since I've done missions, guys, so just bear with me. Get all these cruisers locked up. There's loads of different ships people use. Uh, there's another ship I use, which is a Dominix. But if I'm honest, the Tango does everything. It's so versatile. It's the only ship you need to do anything. Uh, Foz is in a Loki, which is another strategic cruiser. That's a Marion. This is um, this is Caldari. But. Um, I'll put Fuzzy in the Loki and he can cloak and warp and scan um, and I'll just drop him, I'll use him um, I'll use a, um, I'm trying to think what they call him now, where you can just jump uh, low to null sex systems so it will literally jump you to low sex systems and then he, I love it. I'll do that. I'll jump in and I like. I'll make my way home then through, through the badlands and try not to die. But if you, if you, um, if you're careful, you should be fine. Right, let's get these little ones killed. So you saw quick the battleship window. It does get a bit noisy in there, so I'm just going to zoom out. That would have been deafening to you guys then. Okay, let's continue. Because they're so small, they've got a really good transversal. Uh, but it can, I can still kill him, but it takes a little bit longer. There you go, I'm webbed by one of them. You just hover over this, it'll tell you which one. Next one. Uh, when you're doing missions like this, 
I would recommend getting getting rid of the little um, frigates first because they can scram and they can web and you're not getting out you know and if you're in trouble if you're struggling uh, with your repping and you need to warp out and you're held down by three or four or five little ones little frigates all scramming and webbing you, you, you're going to die pretty quick because the webbing reduces your transverse or your speed so you're not moving and then the damage comes in even heavier so your first thing will be to get rid of all the little frigates whatever mission you're doing just just to be safe approach that one. See they're a bit spread out now, so just gonna have to approach them one by one just to keep the distance right. Right, next one. Let's do this one. And move that down there. Right, I'm going to move to the next one now. You can see the rapid, the rapid fire on this ship. Look how quickly it's it's launching. It's literally one, two, three seconds, that's it. I need to reload in a minute. about transversal and keeping keep moving is because this is so well fitted and the resist is so high I could I could just sit there just take it and tank it but I would recommend always keep moving orbit something orbit something nearby them a wreck or or a celestial body or something like that always keep moving and, and orbit if you go into a gate, orbit the gate, say 2,000 or something, and draw them in, you may have to go towards them if they're out of range. I can switch out to uh, Javelin. I've got Javelin on as well. The uh, missiles, the heavy assault missiles. Um, and they'll give me a range up to 79 kilometres. But um, I'm happy here. I'm... Nothing's nothing's worrying the tank at all. Just tanking it very easily. Right. Just carry on as we are. Just make my way round to them. See these battleships, they're dying very easily. 2,221 2, damage. As you can see, they're desperately trying to get rid of me. That's so noisy. Next one. 
on my way. I'm going that way anyway with it, so uh, just just do a little bit of change direction. He's still getting hit right on there you go, even though she ran out of charges. It takes a while for the missiles to get to the target. So it's, you've got to time it right where you can stop firing so you're saving on ammunition. So I like to get cl up close and personal. And then we'll head towards the others. I realise how loud this is. I usually zoom out. But obviously I want you to see what she's doing. So like the instructions were from the agent, just kill everything. Once the mission's completed, it should come up Mission complete uh, in green letters. So we'll leave it there for now. Just one left. I'm not going to really worry about a tank. Transversal. There you go. So, should be done. There you go. Got my Zerk objective complete. So that's the mission completed. Now you go back to your agent. Just reload everything. Oh, I selected Javelin then. Like I said, ideally you would want one of your alts and salvaging all the all the stuff there, because there's, there's good money in, in salvaging as well, guys. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, so we go back to, um, back to our agent, and we've completed the mission, and there you go. So let's request another one. Pirate Invasion, again it's in a mocker, and it's not too bad, 4,181 load. If we were in, um, in Nullsec, these loyalty points would be stupid amounts, 12, 13, 14,000. Again, everything's relevant, uh, you get less less bang for your buck, so to speak, in, in Isaac than we would in, in Nullsec. Uh, okay, Pirate Invasion, level four. Let's go to the uh, chart. Pirate Invasion. Just fill that screen. So, Pirate Invasion, level four. As you can see, there's a lot of Pirate, 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 but uh, Pirate... So oh, let's just have a look at if it's what faction. So it's True Sancher. 
with Sancho. I'm going to accept it anyway. Okay, let's go back to that chart. Sancho. Pirate Invasion. There you go. Sancho's Nation. Level 4. So, EM and Thermal this time. Both, both damage and to resist. So, let's go to the fit. EM and Thermal. I'll take I'll take the kinetics off and I'll put two EMs on. So now we have, if you simulate that, we've got 79 EM and 83 thermal. That should be okay. You'll notice if you'll know if it's not right, because you'll start getting some serious damage. EM and thermal. And I need to I need to put some here we go, the heavy assault. So I need to swap out my ammo. I'll leave the thermal in, but I'll, I'll use the uh, EM. Uh, rage. And I'll just put, say, 7,000 in. Because you really do burn through ammo. And 5,000. And I'll do. I think everything's. I think everything's. Yeah. Everything's done. Yep. And we're good to go. So we'll do that mission now. And again, that's in a mock, like I say. Let's drop that down there. And off, and off we go again. Activate hardness and your uh, missile guidance computer that that extends the range of your missiles. If I turn it off and have a look at the range, oops, don't need that. Up. It's 44, 36 now, 36. As soon as I put that back on, it goes up to 44, so that's how important these missile guidance are. Modules. Right, let's go. Let's walk to the location. What does she want us to do? And then you read it. Uh, neutralize the entire enemy force and halt their sneak attack. There you go. Tend not to read them, just go and kill him. So, like you said, we'll know if things aren't right, your damage will start coming in pretty thick and fast. So, always be, like you say, be prepared to, to, to run. And, like I said, kill small uh, frigates first, the ones that can web and scram you. one. I'm going to go, go straight ahead, steam into them, orbit them. Right, let's, oh, that's better. I had my mining uh, lab on then. Okay, we'll just get into range. As you can see, there's others spawning now. Look, they're all they're spawning at these locations. But try and try and take them one by one. So these, those are the small ones, even though they're in the next group. 
even though they're in next group and they're already firing, you may as well, you may as well hit them. Because they will now um, catch up to you and, and scram on web. So straight away, I'll get my booster on because it is uh, blimey that is loud. We we'll have to zoom out, guys. These will make their way to you, the little ones. So there's the one. Let's get rid of him. And we're going to orbit this at what's the current range. So let's go 15. I want to be right on top of them. Let's start locking them up. I'm going to unlock those. Let's do this little bunch. So as long as you got rid of little ones. There's a few little ones there, but they're way, way away, so they're no threat yet. It's only when they start getting close to you, you need to worry. But always try and hit them as they're catching up to you, because that's there's no transversal there, because they're going in a straight line towards you. That's why you can uh, insta-pop them. The little ones, I mean. The frigates. So we're just we're just staying out of the way here, just killing these this little group here. Um, could take them all on, but I'm showing you really how it should be done, group by group. Trying not to aggro other groups. I mean that one aggro because that's to be honest, I tend to turn right and hit this group first, but it's no big deal. I'll hit them next. So I'm just going to turn that down. So that I can zoom a bit, a bit more. Sort, uh, sort my levels out. I'll get those sorted. As you can see, they're getting a little bit angry now. It's like, it's like hitting the hornet's nest. A module has run out of charges. So the sound is still loud, but I've just turned it down a bit. It's kind of... Oh, shall we? Uh... Shall we load some EM? I just used up the uh, what was left of the rage. Let's put some EM in. I forgot about loading them into the uh, launchers. Uh, things should die a lot quicker now. Let's lock those up. That's the next group. Yeah, forgot to change the uh, the rage missiles from kinetic to EM. That's why I didn't auto load because it only had what was left in the uh, in the launches. towards these guys. You can see they're hitting you with EM there. The majority.
Agronauty. Nothing else is aggroed yet. No other group. No other groups aggroed. So we'll probably go for this lot down here next. And stay that side. That's a nightmare. Nice ship. Marauder. Sweet. And he's getting absolutely pummeled by an eater. Right in the last, uh, the last bunch. finish this one off and then we'll go for this group down here <clears throat> take a while to get to them. I'm not gonna overheat anything damage anything I'm just gonna just bide my time won't take too long to get there so you can start locking up. I'll do all the cruisers first. You can tell that's the whole group up to this 101 because they're all at the same distance. So you've got a good idea that is the whole group. I could change this uh, to Javelin. But by the time I've changed it all and I start hitting them, I'm already in Rainsford for the rage so I just I just don't bother unless it's absolutely necessary I need to stay at range but not in this instance okay well, they're all on lasers of course there's a Sancho I can start hitting these now, they're in they're just coming into range. <clears throat> as soon as I've killed one, I'll just orbit the wreck where it is because it'll be close to the others. So it gives me a somewhere to just orbit. There it is. So I'll orbit that. Hey, seven and a half. Next one. Start locking up the battleship. Uh, ship. As you can see, they don't like it up them. I just leave my booster running so it's a perma boost uh, it's cap stable um, I like to just leave it running you can just forget about it concentrate on other things Gonna go pop, and he has. They're not the best looking ships, Sanchez. They're all spiky. I won't tell you what one of my corpies used to call him. 
as this is a family show. Okay, so we've got those as well now. So we might. In fact, I'm going to look at the the lights, the the uh, frigates. Let's just finish these off. <coughs> Because we may aggro these in a minute, just just because we're close. That's a wrecked archon. It's a carrier. It's an archon. <laughs> the fuzzy flies those. Right, let's see where the others are. Oh, I'd lock that one up. Yeah, so this, this fit works for me. Very happy with it. Uh, the only thing is you have to change it, of course. So yeah, are your shield hardeners, depending on what resists and what damage is dealt on the mission. <clears throat> right, we'll go towards these now. Just all orbit that. Let's say fifteen. And these little ones will be steaming towards us now. So they're first first to be killed as soon as you're in range. So 44 is your range, as soon as it hits 44, give it a couple more seconds and off you go. So these should pop pretty quickly. I'm getting track interrupted from the battleships, but that's fine. I'm a missile boat, it's not really going to hurt me. Okay, let's take out the track and disruption ship. These are very close now, but they will become involved in pretty soon. We may trigger them. Or we may not. There you go. One of the cruisers is just triggered. Both cruisers, three cruisers. Yeah. There you go. So they're all in now. We'll just finish off what we're doing here. We've got no frigates to worry about.
And look at the bounces on the battleships here, they're what, seven, six, eight. If this was null sec, it'd be like 1.2 million. They vary, but yeah, somewhere around there. And you can do the, uh, let me show you, anomalies. There's none in this system right now. If we were in a null sec system, and it's fully upgraded with the modules for the system by your alliance. You could have havens, sanctums, and they are amazing money makers. You just grind those. Plenty, to, plenty to earn in uh, in Nilsec. Take him over here. Next ones. Missiles always get to the target. I trained in e I trained in Eater on just Caldari, pure Caldari, and that's all she flies, Caldari ships. Well, she can fly a few Gil uh, Galenti, but um, I'd rather have Caldari. She's purely a missile, missile uh, character. She's fully. Um, fully maxed out on her skills for missiles. Okay, last one. It won't last long. And there we go. Let's just check the mission. There you go. Objectives complete. In fact, I'll leave that there now. So let's go home and collect the uh, collect the money and the rewards. Um, with with the missions, you get you get some money. Uh, but you get your loyalty points. Those loyalty points can be spent in station uh, on various items, ranging from missiles to implants. Uh, I tend to wait till I've got, say, about 150,000 loyalty points, and I'll just buy two big, big implants that sell for about 140 million ish, and just sell them in jitter. So you get money from that as well. So I'm just doing my levels again. So, complete mission. Brilliant. And there's your loyalty points. And loyalty points, like I say, if you look, you've got the loyalty point store there. And I've got um, 150, oh, I've got 150,000. So I can go right up to these implants. Say like this one. 
Uh, the estimated price is 148 million. I, it cost me 79 million to buy it, and 79,000 loyalty points. So I could buy that and sell it for 140 million. So I've made 60 million, something like that. But hey, whatever you want to do, you could buy, you could buy um, ammo if you wanted some ammo. Let's have a look. There we go. All the ro all the rockets, missiles, torpedoes, heavy missiles, cruise missiles, heavy assault there. Uh, but you would need, but if you wanted um, faction faction ammo, you would have to go and buy five thousand normal Tech One, and then it would lit literally t yeah, take two thousand four hundred loyalty points and 2.4 million isk and you would then get 5,000 action ones back so this is what it costs and that's what you get back that's you know it's at the end of the day it's if whatever works for you you know you, you've there's no set way of doing things just be comfortable in your in yourself you know it's your fly your fly you know fly your mission do it your way shall we request another one Damsel in distress. Now this is this is a good one. So the following objects have to be completed. So we have to acquire these goods. So the damsel is in its next door, and we have to rescue her from the pleasure guns. And that's fun. So let's. I know what damage types it is, so I don't need to look. Um, and it's kinetic and thermal. So let's get rid of the EM. Now let's get the kinetic on. Let's take the. Uh, let's um, take everything out and let's put kinetic back in. I'd recommend taking everything out because you do have a limited amount of room on the tango so I'll go with 6,000 of those that's enough and that's just the rage we'll go with 10,000 there we are good to go Leave that as it is, if we need it, it's theirs for emergencies. And let's accept it. Let's go, and that's next door in Ruvus. Now these are the ships that spawned their Mimitar ships. So we come up against the um, Big one. Uh, um, I can't remember what it's called, the big battleship. Uh, I used to have one when I was in, a, in the Alliance, and they were great. They were a great uh, ship. Huge battleship. Um, very fast. Drive active. I'll remember the name in a minute. Macriel, that's what they call it. Macariel or Macriel, whatever you want to call it. Macariel, the Mimitar battleship. And you could really tank those, and they're f so fast. You can speed tank them. Amazing ships. They're great for doing uh, level fours, but why use something so big, cumbersome like a battleship when you can use this strategic cruiser? It's very nimble, fast, takes the takes everything that they throw at it and resist it. It's just costly, that's all. They can say 1.6 billion for this setup. Let's go. Let's get our hardeners on. Let's load up with Rage, because we will warp in close. <clears throat> I 
and I can never remember which one you hit, which pleasure gun, so I just start on the left one and just work my way. So here we are, there's the pleasure guns below. There's the slave pens, there's the pleasure guns. So let's get the little ones. Let's start orbiting these at what they are. Get the little ones first. There's Krull, of course, kill him. You don't get anything special from him. The only one you do is... Um, Well, I'll, sit, I'll show you when it pops up, and you get uh, you can get a good module off him. Most of the time, it's a cheap one, but there's sometimes he drops a, an expensive version, so it's well worth killing him. Well, kill him all, just kill him all. I'm not even going to put my afterburner on. ship they look evil they're an awesome ship it was, it's one of my favorites in the game and when you fit that right my god imagine 250 of those in a fleet when we're fighting the bad guys awesome awesome so when these get close they really start to hurt. Because they are projectile ammo, you can see. You can see what the fire in there. And they need to be up close and personal. Literally a couple of thousand, three or four thousand meters away and that's where their DPS really starts to hit you. So I would say keep these at distance if your tank's not brilliant, if your tank's no good at all, and you come in, I used to do this in, I used to do these in a Raven, so I'd come in at 150 kilometers, stay out, pop them all, and then warp in and do the uh, pleasure hubs. I mean, Anita can go up to 240 kilometers and still hit a target with a cruise missiles so just like I say different ways of doing things um, if you haven't got the skills or the money for a Tengu then a Raven they're about 380 million something like that fit it out probably cost you best part of 500 million for a decently fitted Raven but you'll get that back from the missions That's going to go pop. It's going to drop the levels down to six. It's better. Still in the red, but cool. so loud. See, these are right on top of me now. There was, there was one. That was big. 131 was big. But they die very quickly as well. <coughs> so we we'll just keep killing them. kill the majority of them and then you'll kill them all then you'll start in the pleasure hub and there'll be another spawn and that's when uh, he I can't remember his name he spawns in 
make sure you kill him and go to the wreck and see what's dropped. Lock up. Bless your gardens. We'll start hitting them and then we'll get another spawn. So that's all we those are about. The drone is ridiculous, it does slow down eventually, but watch watch the speed of it. So already on me. I'm getting damaged now. I'm going to try and destroy. Oh, there's too many. So we'll leave that for now. Let's get the spider drone. Because the damage will be coming in now. As you can see, the damage is increasing. Sometimes you have to overheat your module, of course. And these get on top of the big boys. My God. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a case of getting rid of the little ones very quickly. Especially these that are webbing you right now because they're slowing you right down, giving the boys a chance to hit you. There you go, there's one. There's the other. As soon as my speed picks up, the damage coming in will be less. And there's Zor. That's who you want to kill and make sure you go to his wreck. It drops, like I say, it drops a module. It's usually a cheap one, but there's a lot, of, a few times there's a, it drops an expensive one. So it's worth it's worth going to his wreck. So right now I'm not being webbed. But I'll take these little ones out. So you can imagine if you're in a less tanked ship and you're not you don't have a shield booster like this you are going to really start to panic and worry those spider drones are on top in seconds they're just crazy but make sure like I said make sure you kill all the frigates those spider drones first and then the rest of them And now you can just start killing what you want. I tend to leave Zor till last. <coughs> Again, well worth, um, well worth um, salvaging your the Rex guys. Excuse me. 
So if you're just orbit like this, they'll they'll just come after you. You don't have to worry about range. Like I say, these battleships are very fast. They can certainly keep up with a tanker. I'm going to reload. To the battleships, they do die pretty quickly to this tenure. The damage you can inflict, inflict is amazing. killing the battleships they're the DPS dealers but then again these don't these hit pretty well the, uh, these are Cinnables faction ship again these are all faction ships these are I would say Gila's but Moa's if you want to call they're the Tech 1 version Gila's are the faction version these, these will die pretty quickly So I'll probably orbit him now and get ready for killing him and looting his wreck. Don't forget the pleasure gardens to get your damsel. I can never win. remember which one, but I'm going to hit that. She'll appear in your cargo hold. Don't want that. Ooh, that was Zor. Okay, Mr. Zor. There she is. There's a damsel, so that's good. You've Got your woman. Don't need to kill any more or blow up any more uh, buildings. So you saw that hit from Zor then. Let's uh, open the cargo. Let's go towards it. Reload that. Zorak and you get an implant and like I said it's either expensive one or cheap one most of the time it's a cheap one there you go it's all custom now it's the cheap one I'll keep I'll keep that I might even keep that I'll take that and the rest I'm not too fussed about Bar's DNA yeah if you want to take it all, guys, for scrap, reprocess it. Brilliant. Again, the field is worth salvaging. Look at all the wrecks. And I would normally have somebody I'm a fuzzy in, usually fuzzy in a, in a Noctis uh, with tractor beams and salvage rigs on. All right, so let's go back to a mock-up. Mission done. Drive active. We have our damsel.
go to install. Warp drive active. So we've done an hour and six minutes. That's uh, that's not too bad. They are time consuming, but they are. They can be fun. There you go. There's a golem. That's a marauder. Um, basically a raven on steroids. And let's complete the mission. Thank you, she says. 2.2 million, 5,600 loads of points. And that's it, guys. That's uh, my mission for this morning. I hope you liked it. Just an insight. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, give me a shout. Join the live streams. I'll do more of these. Uh, just if anyone wants to know how know what it's like in uh, in empire doing level falls anyway thank you very much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you later bye bye